Hey everyone, in this video we'll be solving a question from the topic of kinematics. Question is from the check your understanding section. And the question says that water flows out in all directions with the same speed from a sprinkler. Consisting of a perforated spherical shell fixed at the end of a hose. When the sprinkler is fixed at the ground, the maximum height attained by the water stream is h. If the sprinkler is shifted to a height h above the ground, by what factor will the watered area change? So we have to assume that the spherical shell is very small as compared to the height h reached. So let's try to understand the problem. So if I draw a diagram, let's say the sprinkler is placed at this point A. So it is, uh, it's given that the sprinkler throws water at each direction. So there will be water flowing in all directions. Basically, so it's a 3D diagram basically. So considering all the possible directions in which water can flow, it's given that the maximum height attained by uh, the water stream. So the maximum height will be attained by the stream of water that is going straight up. A particle that is thrown up in the air with a velocity of u reaches a maximum height of u squared by 2g. So from here we can directly get the value of u to be square root 2gh. Now it's given that the max, so we have to comment on the maximum area that is watered. So what will be the maximum area? So the if I consider this point to be the A point, the maximum area will be corresponding to this circle whose radius is R max of this projectile. The R max of this projectile motion is given by the formula U square by, because uh, the formula for range is U square sine 2 theta divided by G. And for the va value of when sine 2 theta becomes 1 or when theta is 45 degrees, the range of a projectile, range of a ground to ground projectile is maximum and its magnitude is u square by g. And this value, as you can see, is it is equal to 2h. So now this sprinkler is elevated by a height h. So now if this is the ground, this is where the sprinkler is kept now. So if I draw a horizontal line here, so we need to first of all find the maximum value of this range, right? Let's say it is just r. So let's say if I connect these two points, this motion is like a inclined plane projectile, right? And we need to find the, now all we have to do is uh, make sure that this range r dash is maximum. Because if r dash is maximum, then this, but then from this triangle, you can clearly see r will be maximum as well. So the maximum value of uh, the range in a inclined plane projectile that is projected down, down the plane is given by the formula of u squared by g one minus sine alpha. If you don't know this result, then you have to take general theta and then you have to find range as a function of theta and then differentiate it. So yeah, moving on. Now r dash, we can from this right triangle, now from this right triangle, uh, I can write the value of r dash as square root of r squared plus h squared. And the value of u squared, we determined it to be 2gh in the previous part, divided by g times 1 minus. The value of sine alpha, uh, now alpha is the angle of the incline okay so this is the value of alpha and as you can see from the triangle the value of alpha is h divided by square root of h squared plus r squared so from here you'll get uh, get the value of the new range to be 2 root 2 times h now the uh, area so we have to comment on so the question asked us to by what factor will the watered area change the maximum watered area will depend upon the range of this projectile r max so that area will be pi times r max squared. Now, as we can see, the range of the projectile was initially 2h. Now, the maximum range became 2 root 2 times h. So it increased by, so the range increased by root 2 times, which means the area watered will increase by an amount of root 2 squared, that is 2 times. So that was it for the solution for this question, guys. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And if you have any queries, you can comment down below. And thanks for watching.